Pizza's big comeback. Uh, hey, Melody, don't take this the wrong way, but I think you're gonna make a rotten crime report. I mean, you know, you're just not cynical enough. There's still something about him that people seem to like. From Tony to TV's newest friends, the experts give us a sneak peek at the fall season's hottest new shows. Now from hot movies to what's destined to be new and hot on television. We've got the official list of this fall's hits and misses, and we have two words for you. Tony Danza. E.T.'s Jerry Grant has the story. Uh, hey, Melody, don't take this the wrong way, but I think you're going to make a rotten crime reporter. He drove a cab to stardom and cleaned up as a houseboy. Now will Tony Danza nab success as a cop in Hudson Street? I think there's, there's still something about him that people seem to like. Betsy Frank of Zenith Media says lightning will strike again for Tony. She rates the new shows every year and sees a trend in the new season. The frenzization of the schedule this year is happening big time. Frank says that of more than 20 new sitcoms, two with 20-something themes should hit big. Tell me what you think of these cards. I'm going to go out and grab some sex. Lunch. <laughs> Frank tells advertisers where to buy commercial time. And her top picks are two NBC shows, Caroline in the City, starring Leah Thompson, and The Single Guy. For what reason would anyone like her? Jonathan likes everybody. He's famous for it. I don't like this girl. I didn't find any real dogs on the schedule. I found some disappointments, but probably not as many dogs. Shots on Frank's list include The Home Court on NBC. This isn't the return counter at Marshall Fields. <laughs> CBS is Bonnie and the funky American Gothic. What should I wish for, Daddy? Salvation. Andrew Clay, who hasn't made many friends in the past, is getting his own sitcom, starring with Kathy Moriarty in Bless This House. Frank says the show could be successful. I have to warn you, I can't find my pills. I gotta warn you, that's not gonna work a third time. <laughs> also sees possibilities in CBS's steamy soap opera Central Park West, If Not For You, also on CBS, and ABC's Murder One, where the entire season is spent on a single criminal case. <laughs> Last season, Frank chose Friends and ER as fan favorites. Now with both at the top of the ratings, she says only time will tell what the next super hit will be. You don't know when a show is just going to come along and break onto the scene and capture um, the country the way those two programs have done. Now, once you get that big hit show, the next step would be an Emmy.